you see here, before we can be totally free in Africa, African continent at large, before we can really unite ourselves and forge ahead in unity and peace and harmony, many African countries have to abolish their westernized constitutions because you cannot say that you want to be free from your colonial masters and you are still using the constitution you adopted from them. A constitution that is working for them based on their country that is not indoctrinated based on the realities in your own country. The constitution that even has nothing to do with the tribes, with the cultures of your people. So there's no way it is going to work. So it means that many African countries who are still using constitution they copied from the West or from white man, first things first, they must have to abolish these constitutions. The, the stakeholders of these countries must come on a round table seat, draft constitution that are their people's driven, that are their countries driven, that is African continent driven. It is only till then that we can sit together as a people, we can think together, we can talk together and harmonize ourselves and unite ourselves to be able to overcome this single enemy we have that don't want us to rise, that don't want us to be free, that don't want us to be able to achieve that and find ourselves in that position based on what we can offer to the world where we are supposed to be seated at the global stage. So until many African countries abolish their westernized constitutions, we are going nowhere. First and foremost, these constitutions must be abolished and the new one centered on the people and the country must be drafted.